Did you know that in China, giant ships literally swim through mountains? It's not an illusion or a sci-fi story. This is real life in China. Thanks to breakthrough technology and advanced infrastructure engineering, the country has built a water transport system that goes beyond the norm. With a mix of huge dams, high-tech ship lifts, and a network of waterways designed to fit mountain terrain, China shows that geographic challenges aren't roadblocks, they're opportunities to innovate. China has long been a global leader in renewable energy, especially hydropower. Their hydropower plants aren't just a main source of domestic energy, they also play a key role in building infrastructure and boosting regional economies. Contributing about a third of the world's total hydro capacity, China churns out hundreds of gigawatts of clean energy. Mega projects like the Three Gorges Dam and Baihetan Dam are proof of modern civil engineering at its best. But these giant dams also brought new challenges to water transport. Extreme elevation differences between the upper and lower sections block ship navigation, so innovative solutions were needed. One answer? Shiplift technology. A vertical lifting system that lets big ships overcome height differences that conventional lock systems just can't handle. The ship lift is a blend of precise engineering and mechanical innovation. It's built to lift ships weighing hundreds of tons in minutes, something that was once thought impossible. How the ship lift works The ship lift operates on a vertical lifting principle that relies on high tension steel cables, a massive drum, and a precision gearbox. When a ship enters the lift chamber, a big space that not only holds the ship but also manages water levels to keep things stable, the lifting process kicks off. The water in the chamber acts as a natural cushion, spreading out pressure evenly and dampening vibrations that could upset the ship. A specially designed drum built to optimal size and strength carefully winds the cable, allowing the system to lift heavy loads with pinpoint accuracy. The gearbox plays a crucial role by regulating speed and torque, making sure that every change in load is handled smoothly. Together, these components create a synergy that speeds up operations and guarantees safety at every lifting stage. This process happens in three main stages. Initial lift. In the first stage, the ship is raised from the water up to about 236 feet. Sensors and automated controls work together to adjust the operation based on water currents and conditions, keeping the ship steady right from the start. Intermediate lift. After the initial phase, the ship moves into a more intense lifting stage, reaching about 417 feet. The total lift can exceed 650 feet, showcasing the system's ability to handle load distribution in real time. This stage highlights the reliability and flexibility of the gearbox and drum in adapting to load changes. Final adjustment. In the final stage, the ship is slowly lowered with a sophisticated lowering elevator until it's level with the downstream water. This critical phase requires gentle control to ensure a smooth, safe transition into the new water environment. Safety is a top priority in the ship lift design. The system comes with buffer systems and damping mechanisms to absorb vibrations and shocks from water pressure changes and movement, even in extreme situations like earthquakes. The technology can redirect seismic forces into specially designed support structures, significantly reducing the risk of accidents. One of the coolest parts of this project is how the ship lift is integrated with an aqueduct, a big open water channel that connects the lifting points along the mountains. In areas like Giza province, where steep slopes and high plateaus make conventional transport infrastructure tough, Chinese engineers had to design a special route that not only moves ships, but also preserves the local ecology and scenic beauty. The aqueduct connected to the ship lift serves two main purposes. First, it acts as a link between the first and second lifts, letting ships slide smoothly through height changes. Second, it's a smart solution to limited land space, where building roads or rail lines would be much more expensive and risky. By using water as the transport medium, China not only cuts construction costs, but also minimizes the environmental impact of large-scale infrastructure. Traditionally, lock systems are used to overcome elevation differences in rivers, but when the height difference reaches hundreds of feet, these systems become less efficient. Take the Three Gorges Dam, for example, where ships have to pass through several locks that can take up to four hours. 
With high traffic volumes, this system often leads to delays and long lines. This is where the ship lift shines. Taking only about 10 to 40 minutes per lift, it significantly boosts throughput. Although it handles just one ship per cycle, the system is designed to work in tandem. Once one ship is lifted, the next one gets right in line. This efficient queuing means that even with a limited number of ships per cycle, daily throughput can be truly impressive. Plus, the ship lift isn't just efficient, it's a visual and symbolic marvel. Watching a massive ship float between mountains and clouds is a striking image that represents modern China's tech prowess. This not only drives economic efficiency, but also attracts tourists, adding extra value to local economies. As one of the world's largest hydropower projects, the Three Gorges Dam isn't just an energy source, it's a transport hub connecting different regions along the Yangtze River. One of its innovative features is the ship lift system, which lets ships weighing up to 3,000 tons smoothly overcome elevation differences. This system uses a 400 foot long and 60 foot wide lift chamber, packed with enough water to keep the ship balanced during the lift. Compared to traditional methods, this ship lift provides a faster, more stable transition thanks to its precise balancing mechanism. Over at Galatan Dam, engineers rolled out a ship lift system with an even more flexible and efficient design. With three lifting stages, two upward and one downward, the system can handle elevation changes of up to 653 feet quickly and steadily. Gallatin's system stands out for its ability to adapt to fluctuating river currents, which is crucial in areas with significant water flow changes. This design lets ships move more efficiently without being thrown off by water level shifts. From the Three Gorges to Gallatin, ship lifts have become a modern solution for water transport, not only overcoming geographic hurdles, but also boosting transport efficiency. Big investments in ship lifts and hydropower aren't just tech feats, they have wide-ranging economic impacts. In mountainous areas like Giza province, building traditional roads or railways is often hampered by tough terrain. Ship lifts offer a much more efficient way to transport large quantities of goods. For example, one 500-ton ship can replace dozens of trucks that would have to navigate narrow, winding roads. This cuts logistics costs and lowers carbon emissions, making the system more eco-friendly. With increased throughput at the Three Gorges Dam, cargo volumes hit record highs in the first half of 2023, giving a big boost to regional economic growth. Moreover, these projects align with China's national energy policy, which is targeting a major shift to renewable energy between 2030 and 2035. Hydroelectric infrastructure, including ship lifts, not only optimizes the use of major rivers, but also proves that technology can overcome geographic limitations and transport challenges. While China leads the way with large-scale ship lifts, similar innovations are popping up around the globe. A cool example is Scotland's Falkirk Wheel, a rotating ship lift that connects two canals with different heights. Using a balancing principle, the Falkirk wheel allows boats to move between canals with high efficiency. However, the scale is very different. The Falkirk wheel is perfect for historic canals with lower traffic, while China's ship lift is built to handle thousands of tons of cargo each year, making it more suited for major trade routes. This comparison shows that water transport solutions don't have to be one size fits all. Each innovation is tailored to the specific geographic and economic needs of its region, but ultimately, they all aim to make water transport more efficient worldwide. Building a ship lift in a mountainous region comes with a whole host of challenges. Extreme elevation changes, shifting river currents, and environmental factors like wind and weather demand a system that's both precise and reliable. To tackle these issues, China's ship lifts are equipped with advanced sensors that monitor operations in real time. These systems can detect mechanical vibrations, water load changes, and structural pressure, ensuring that every ship lift is stable and safe. Beyond the technical side, integrating the ship lift with the aqueduct requires tight coordination. Using modern IT and digital communication systems for remote monitoring lets operators quickly respond to any changes. This approach not only boosts operational reliability, but also reduces the risk of accidents that could disrupt major trade routes. 
In the end, this project proves that with cutting edge tech and smart planning, geographic challenges aren't obstacles, they're chances to innovate.